I'm gonna talk about a time when our daily activities were put off due to a wild storm. Well, because our village is located near the coast and in the um, monsoon climate area, there are many tropical storms that may strike and cause a lot of damage to our village. One of those, you know, one of them occurred in 2017. I still remember the day, you know, before it um, made landfall, you know, we had heard a lot of information. I mean, the weather forecast on TV that it was predicted to be one of the most destructive typhoons and what we should do was to be well prepared. So with all the experience they had, our parents and uh, their neighbors had uh, joined hands together to help uh, people who lived in uh, dangerous areas to be evacuated to the shelter and also we uh, protected our houses by putting some sort of you know heavy things on the roof of the buildings and also we shut all the windows and doors you know in order not to allow the powerful wind to go inside and cause some uh, damage you know on top of that you know a lot of machines were mobilized to help farmers um, our farmers to um, harvest their crops and uh, we worked around the clock and then we got it done very soon so um, the day you know when uh, it hit our village the rain was absolutely torrential and the wind was so powerful that we felt like it could um, blow away and, and and destroy everything on its way we couldn't go to school our parents couldn't go to work and particularly you know the electricity was cut off um, in order to maintain the safety uh, therefore we couldn't be able to watch our you know uh, favorite football matches on TV because the World Cup tournament uh, was happening at that time in Japan uh, but um, it was not a big deal eventually we were safe and sound and uh, um, the typhoon didn't take uh, didn't take it you know it's tall